What's going on guys? Today we're joined by the 2023 Europe Top 16 winner and recent world number 6, Darko Jorgic at the Saarbrücken Table Tennis Club to test the bat setup he uses. Now Darko uses his personal blade, the Tiba Dynamic Darko Jorgic, with the hybrid K3 rubber on his forehand and the MXP on the backhand. Now the Dynamic JC is a 7 ply inner carbon blade with two layers of outer wood followed by the carbon layer which is a very fast carbon. Darko, like many other players, are now going for a tachyar rubber on the forehand. This K3 is a 53 degree sponge hardness and uses a tachyar top sheet. Right, that's enough of the equipment stats, let's get into it. Now guys, we actually filmed this a week before Darko won the top 16 event, so I think it's safe to say I deserve a lot of credit for his victory after I gave him a lot of confidence. Ah, 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 <laughs> Alright, okay, so here's Darko going full force, and that's exactly what these Takia style rubbers allow you to do. You can use maximum effort with a large swing whilst keeping lots of control. Ha <laughs> So much spin it, yeah. So much spin. Yeah, I mean, the rubber is really helping me a lot since I changed the rubber from this normal MXP rubber to this, this K3. Yeah. It was helping me really a lot. I mean, I started really to improve my forehand skills as well. I feel like, are you concentrating more on the spin in the shot now? Yeah. If you want to make more power, it's going sometimes also down. So you have to play like more with the spin. Then it's coming more safe to the table, the balls and everything. And it's like more arc, what is sure. most important for the table tennis. Yeah, so I've used MXP a lot in the past, which is very fast rubber, but can lack safety. The K3 has a little less speed, but the grip is really good, which helps keep your shots stable. Good. I feel like you. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> K3 is quite hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like similar to Chinese and it's uh, more grippy like normal rubber. Yeah, you know, yeah, because normally like with T-Bar, the MXP and stuff, a little bit softer. Whereas these rubbers are exactly. harder. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's a better arc of yeah. the ball. And Definitely more spin and grip. Exactly. And it's like more control for some contrast and small things like sure. first balls and these things. Mm. Mm. You can feel it directly, the arc is going like, it's not going the down like uh, yeah. normal rubbers like before. Like Five minutes have to go more forward. Exactly, you, you have to, to use more power with this yeah. one. Like you have to work a lot, but it's helping you as well. Like it's more safe. Yeah, so following on with what Darko said there, I noticed this in the counter top spins. The K3 helps hold the ball longer than normal tensor rubbers due to the tachyar top sheet. And this was massively noticeable in the counter top spins. Ah, Yossi! No. Same? Same. Got it. Whoa. It's so safe with the counter top spin. That's true, yeah. That's why for my game is perfect this rubber. When I played with the normal Evolution MXP before, I was maybe around 31 in the world. 
Then I changed to this rubber. I played directly with the Malong. 4-2, big match. Yeah. And I lost directly. And then from this morning, I started to improve my skills. Start to be more safe on my foreign skills. And I became number six in the world with K3. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's new rubber. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> These things are important, the counter tops being the serve, the touch. Exactly. My game it's like I make more points with the backhand side, so that's why I need on the backhand side more powerful like rubber and everything. And on the forehand thing, I need to some small things for a good spin, first good receive, like this similar thing. <laughs> Of course, you have your own blade as well. This must make you feel proud to have your own blade. Yeah, of course. I'm the first Slovenian who got the blade from Tibar. I'm really happy that I'm proud that I got first blades. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, actually, I like the fast blades. For my game, is helping me a lot. And of course, with a lot of control. Sometimes I'm the guy who is only blocking. Yeah, you're blocking. Like, it's amazing how well you can push long and then just hold the first exactly, three or four balls. Exactly, exactly. Really incredible. And amount of times, you can like put your opponent under pressure even though they've attacked yeah. first. Yeah. With my game, I'm not scared to push long the ball and yeah. just to block two balls. If I'm not comfortable with the attacking, then I just push long and block some balls on the table. And that's why it's helping me also to, to win some matches even with the blocks. Ah. Oh, oh. Sorry. That's the trademark. Yes. Mm. Oh. Ah. Ah. No! <laughs> Yes! I beat the most consistent blocker in the world! <laughs> so Darko might be able to hold the table extremely well, but check out some of these backhand rips. Like the backspin ball is nothing. My God, even when it's low coming through, it's actually... Yes. You have to, to work with the legs, uh -huh. same with the wrist, in the okay. same time. Like everything together has to be. So it's not like the legs is first and then no, the wrist. No, it has to be like, the ball is coming, you have to wait, it's like normal position. You're coming down and then with the wrist, everything with the legs together. There was potential, I think. <laughs> I was already scared. <laughs> You almost can flick everything, right? Yes. <laughs> like ri literally any type of stuff. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? That's one also good thing with this rubber. You can use it really good for the short things. Yeah, it's tacky, yeah. so it grips. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was going long there. You yeah, 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 but stopped. What? <laughs> That seriously is insane. Ah, ah, ah. It just kicks off. <laughs> Good, Ole. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 it's very good. 
So there we go guys, big shout out to Darko Jorgic for his time in reviewing his Blade of Us and also the K3 Rubber. What a player, he's been flying up the ranks recently and now he's one of the main players on the world stage. So great to spend a day with him and uh, yeah, obviously preparing before the European Top 16. So of course, in this review, we looked at his Blade and also the K3. Let's start off with the Blade ratings. So for speed, we're giving it a 9.5. This is such a fast blade, considering it's an inner carbon blade. And I think this is due to the carbon being used and also the thick core. Now, because of this, it does have low flex and a kind of like a hollow feeling when you hit the ball. So you do have to have very good touch to control the speed. Now, because it's so quick, it's great for top spins, flat hits and smashes. We're giving it a 10 here. Now, for serve and receive, we've given it a 7 because the ball does shoot off quickly off the blade. You do have to have a delicate touch. So all in all, a very fast blade for all out attacking players. So moving on to the rubber ratings and the K3. I have to say straight off the bat, this is my favorite rubber made by Tiba. It has good speed and where the MXP has lacked in the past is its control. When you play the MXP, it can just fly off, but it does have excellent speed. The K3 is slower than the MXP, but has better spin and control ratio. So when you're in the rally, you have a lot more stability and control in your shots. Now, as you can see, high scores across the board here, especially with the counter top spin, we've given it a nine. The rubber really holds the ball well against incoming spin. Now, these hybrid rubbers have been a real game changer on the international scene. As Darko said, he was using MXP for a long time, but is now using the K3 on the forehand, which has given him more safety and quality and spin in his shots, especially in the short game, and also against that incoming spin. I would have to say, with this K3 and hybrid type rubbers, you do need to accelerate into the ball well to get the most out of it. Whereas the rubbers such as MXP or 10 g 5s of this world, they didn't require as much effort, but again, it's harder to control with these rubbers. K3, more control, but does require more effort get the maximum out of the rubber. So there we go guys, had a fantastic day of Darko Jorgic checking out his blade and also the K3 rubber. What a guy and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing more of him on the international scene. So I really hope you enjoyed the review. Let us know in the comments below what other reviews you'd like to see us do. But for now, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.